All right, guys, we're back. Break Room <clears throat> Blitz. Thanks for watching. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Don. What's I'm up? Boy Conch here. Uh. So we stayed up another night to watch The Walking Dead, yeah. season seven, episode five. Yes. So we're like sixty percent done. Done with the whole <laughs> half season. Half of the season. Yeah. Um, it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Cry. We're getting, I'm, we're crying cause I'm, I'm crying because of these episodes. <laughs> so in this episode, we get to see Maggie's perspective or what she's doing. Maggie's well, back. Her, her back. Sasha's, Sasha's back. Sasha. Jesus is back. Little huh? tiny infant. Maybe they can walk. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Ring it, Bobby. Jesus. Ring it, Bobby. So we start off at the hill. Yeah. Yeah. And now we get to see they've already buried uh, what's her name, uh, uh, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn and, and Abraham. Abraham, right? Um, so, what do you guys think about this episode here? Because we get a, we get a lot, yeah, right? That we should, I feel like we should have got this in the second or third episode. I, I felt like this was the third episode because, like, really, uh, you know. MC, what? are you playing these out of order? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> like, no, you know, we're just gonna throw them. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Putting the wrong Lego um, pieces together. Yeah, I mean, I felt it was kind of out of order. Uh, I felt that, like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, off of watching, you know, Glenn's death, you know, maybe wait an episode to build up suspense and then give us it in the third episode. But hey, you know what? They gave us it in this one, and it just kind of felt like it didn't weigh as much, you know, because yeah, you know, I was kind of like over his death per se. Uh, yeah, this happened five weeks ago. We were over it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, like, it's yeah. Good. Yeah, it, you know, honestly, like, really it's hard to it say. Now, but... it sh this really should have been the third episode. Like, you know, if, if they wanted to go off <clears throat> the momentum of, uh, you know, the entire audience following Glenn's character off of, you know, ep you know, season one, then they should have gave it to us pretty soon. You know, we had his death. And you know what? Her, uh, Maggie and Sasha burying, burying um, Glenn and Abraham, it, it kind of felt flat, too. Because I, I, I didn't feel like anything. Well, you did get something. You got the personality of the doc. Yeah, the doctor. He's a jerk. Right. So you got to see even more how, like, when he's talking to, he's talking about Maggie and she needs to go home. Right. And he's talking well, to both Sasha. Of them, both of them. Yeah. But he said, well, he's talking to Sasha and he's like, get away from her. She's bad news. Yeah. He thinks that she She's lives there. there. Yeah. He doesn't even know his own people. Yeah. And, and he actually <laughs> told her, like, who told you to, like, bury these people here? We right. burned we burn them. Right. What's wrong with you? Yeah, don't like, you know what we do? Like, I don't work for you. Right. Get she, your hands off. Like, me. I don't live here. Sasha, you're damn. Right. Yeah. You know, so you get to see, I, I appreciated the, the episode because you get to see. The dynamic of the characters. You got right. to see the dy dynamic of the doctor, the dynamics of Jesus, and just kind of where everyone is. Now, what do you guys think about her not losing the baby? Uh, I'm okay with that. You know, she was uh, obviously very sick at the time, and then off of the stress and everything that happened when she saw, you know, Glenn's death, I really thought that she was going to lose the baby because there's so many factors that go along with mm -hmm. it. Um, so, I mean, I I'm glad that she actually didn't because then we got a little, another little ass kicker on the way, yeah. you know? Yeah, but we already have a baby that they do nothing with. They will. Give her time. Give her time? She's had seven seasons. What do you expect her to do? Be like, you know, have a bottle with a knife on it? I mean, like... It, but that's what I'm saying. Why are mm. we not doing nothing with this baby? Why are we having another baby? Look at that. You know, the only reason I can see is because, like, at least, like, life is still going on. Be, uh, you know, we, we're not just having a whole bunch of death in this post-apocalyptic world. Yeah. We're also having little glimmers of hope that are just like, we got Carl, he's a little kid. We got this other little girl. Carl shoots Carl. people in the head. He's awesome. Yeah, he has to grow up in this world. Babies okay? don't do that. And that's the thing. We have this future that we're building for people, and it's kind of like a correlation with what we have right here, you know. So, like, you know, a lot of people are like I don't want to have kids in this crazy world. You know, these people are having kids in this crazy world because you know there's going to be people left over. You know, so I mean, I, I get it. There's little glimmers okay, of hope. Okay, fine. Glimmers of hope. I mean, personally, as far as a story plot in a <clears throat> um, season that's only eight episodes, I don't, and I don't think this this series is going to go forever. I right. feel like she needs to. I, I'm sorry, but she needs to lose the baby because I don't want to see a baby get eaten, like by a zombie. Zombie, and zombie baby. I don't want to see a baby get left alone like Rick's baby does. Yeah. So, and we almost thought she died in one season too. So everyone was like, "Oh my right. god, did they just eat that baby?" Yeah. Right, don't forget, I mean, if you're going to have the baby, at least show her. Like, they, there's so many episodes, you don't even get to see the little girl. Yeah. So, I think we're, that's going to be a no plot point 
for sure. Mm-hmm. If they if they let her have it. Okay. So so we get Jesus. So we get Jesus. I, I like his character because Jesus kinda, is getting better and better. I love yeah, Jesus. yeah. I mean, he's he's supporting them. You know, he he's like leaning more on their side of things. He he's in it for like the moral. Uh, he has an ethnic code, uh, moral code of himself. You know, he's like, you know, she has a baby. You know, she's pregnant. I can't just let her go. And he's really backing up Sasha. You know, Sasha's going over there fighting zombies. Maggie's like, go help, go help her. You know, and he's just like. You know, doing his karate kicks and stuff. Did you guys like that uh, scene where they wake up out of their sleep to some loud music playing in the yard? <coughs> right. And they're like, what the hell? When I, when, I, when I first saw that, I was like, oh, did Jesus just turn on them? Yeah. Did they just bounce and leave them there? Right. No. Like, oh, that's jacked. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm like, who doesn't who doesn't hear this? Like, what's happening here? No, I I instantly thought it was Negan. I instantly thought I, I was like, okay, so Negan's coming for them now, and he just like let a whole bunch of zombies through because he did that to Daryl, and I mean, we got that in the other episode where he blasts that loud music, yeah. you know, all the time. Well, I guess so, I don't trust nobody. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh Jesus, backstabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Okay, all right, right. okay, so. <clears throat> What did you guys think about that scene, though? Was it kind of like a, a, I guess, nostalgia to how the old seasons used to be? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. like, I, I, I kind of got that, you know. Running gun type of thing. Exactly. You know? It's going down, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We, we got it we out of the prison, going. you know, like, when, when just when you think that they're safe and they have, like, this impenetrable wall and, yeah. like, they've got guards everywhere, you know, you can't underestimate these slow-walking zombies. Right. You know, no matter how easy it is, you know, they come in a flood, they come in a wave, and it's just... You know, you always got to be on your toes, you know? You're not yeah. safe. I did kind of enjoy it a little bit, just a little bit, because it, I felt like it. Uh, we didn't get to see a lot. Now, Jesus did kind of do his little Batman yeah. uh, kung fu. <laughs> yeah. You know, that was kind of cool. That was cool. Uh, but it wasn't enough. More more. I would have wanted yeah. to see more of that. More. Don't worry. I promise. Yeah. Maybe. 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 Yeah. You, you I'm not what? a fan yet. <laughs> All right. By the end of the season, hopefully, AMC, you'll be like, I love I'm it. a fan. I He's love like, it. He's uh, also he's a British guy. guy. <laughs> when I was watching uh, uh, yeah. After Dead, we were talking Dead. Talking, talking Dead? Dead? Yeah. I'm like, British. everybody's British in this goddamn <laughs> show. Yeah. And nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying, yeah. I, you're tricking me here. <laughs> you got one yeah, of these accents. Accents. Yeah. American accents yeah. here. Nope. Uh, it's funny. Would you prefer a black Jesus? <laughs> it's just fun to say. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Yes, I would actually. I would preach for it too. Because first of all, it not just because of that, but because we would get an awesome black guy and not this uh, passive dude that they have as the priest. Right. Um, well, we, we got Morgan with his Morgan. staff and Morgan's Ezekiel with the tiger. Morgan doesn't want to kill nobody. <laughs> Morgan is like, I don't care if he has a knife up to your throat. You don't kill him. Morgan's still a badass though. He's pretty cool. He has he's potential. He has potential. Yeah. We'll see what happens with him. Right. Because he's getting out with it. By um, Ezekiel, right? So we'll see, like, how, how it's a chess where they go with that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's really. We'll good. see. Is he going to be in, in, in easily influenced, or is he going to like become still this wise person? We'll see what they're I doing. Go with back him. with Ezekiel right. and see my homeboy in the background be like deuces. Yeah, <laughs> fruit time. <laughs> <laughs> I know they need to get back to that. I, I, so anyway. Let's get back to it. Back to this episode. <laughs> this episode. Um, so, I mean, off of coming off of that, you know, and then the very next day, Negan and his crew roll up. Yep. You know? Well, again, Negan's crew. Well, Negan's crew does. Oh, roll I up. should say. Yeah. So, I mean, he sent, like, his captain, I guess, in command. Sure. Oh, you know, face. one thing I did not like about that, I'm going to just say this right now. Yeah. They're supposed to all be Negan. Yeah. Why does Doc know that there is a Negan? He shouldn't know that, for one. Mm-hmm. And... Two, to for the, um, I guess, his second in command to say, I'm your Negan, is also out of character because he should have just said, we're all Negan. Yeah. But I digress. I'm just putting it out. No, well, everyone, uh, everyone's going to know who Negan is because Negan, the Negan, has to make the impression on every person. So, of course, those who... But that's not Negan's how they present over. themselves to outsiders. That's only an inside thing. Mm-hmm. Well, right. The, the, this yeah. is an inside thing. The doc has met Negan. They were they they they've gone through the same thing that every other place that Negan's taken over. Not necessarily same because thing. I mean, like mm. Ezekiel is still Ezekiel, and he's not Negan, you know. So I mean, I think it it really depends, you know. Negan is letting these other um, uh, uh, groups do their own thing, but also pay tribute because of that too. 
So I think, you know, they're paying not being Negan at a cost, and Negan's keeping his circle <clears throat> that he knows that he can control. Like, he's keeping his circle to himself, you know? And so... I mean, because they made a whole big deal out of last season when they when uh, Rick and them stormed the whole yeah. outpost or whatever. Oh, yeah. When they stormed that, they say we're all Negan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they made a big deal about that. So I remember because it, it was one of my favorite episodes. Right. So I'm sticking to that. I'm like, okay, we're all Negan. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daryl, what's your name? Negan. Supposed to be Negan. Yeah. So now we're pointing these certain Negans out. There's better Negans out there. I don't know. So yeah, I'm just, I just I just want to say that real quick. So they come in. So they do come in like a boss. Yes. Like grand entrance. Like a jerk. <laughs> and then they're just like, "All right, this is a nice place. You got it here, you know." It's like, well, you know, we we we, we gotta we gotta do our thing, you know, kind of thing. And he's, like, disrespecting this doc, you know, which, at this point, I don't care, because the doc's a jerk anyway, so it's yeah. a jerk being an even bigger jerk to this doc. I don't doc. know how they picked him as a, uh, a leader, but I guess uh, there's a lot yeah. of leaders in this world that shouldn't be, so... Hey, that's a good perspective, yeah. too, because we got, you know, uh, another leader that's kind of a crappy leader in this doc, you yeah. know? And I, I I feel like Jesus can step up and be the new leader, but that's just me. Well, you, you know? know how it always works in this dynamic. So. It's always the character that doesn't want to step up to the plate that, d- that is underneath... The person that did step up to the plate. Yeah, I feel like out of all the groups, their group on the hill is definitely the weakest. Um, and then we got, you know, you know, maybe Alexandra, Ezekiel's, and then uh, you know the vegan crew, the, the yeah. saviors. The saviors. It's funny how they put it. Like you know, we are here to uh, reestablish civilization, mm-hmm. so we are the saviors. Yeah. I'm like, well, I don't want to live like that. It's just like a new yeah, type like, of anarchy. Like, where's this democracy know. at? Because I feel like mm. you're just trying to be a king. It's not a monarchy. It's not what I want. I want democracy. So it's a, it's a, it's ironic that, that they call themselves the saviors. Because right. yeah. even what they're doing in the world it's is all, contradiction. It's all wrong. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, this doc being the leader, you know. Uh, Do you think he, he should have sold them out, though? Yeah. Like, so if he, you were. So he, he, he sells them out. And, and I expected the, them to. And He's the, a freaking cross tracker. It's not going to work. Yeah, I, I didn't expect it. And I thought that, like, he was going to backtrack. But, like, the fact that he opened up the closet, I kind of had a feeling they're not going to be in there. And I'm glad that they weren't. And I'm glad that what uh, Jesus actually did was put all his scotch in there. Because he's always walking around with his little cup of scotch, you know, drinking and chilling. That was such an awesome scene. Uh, that was a scene. slap in the mm-hmm. face. He's like, oh, are you serious? All this for you? He's like, yeah, this is for you. He's, he he take the whole box. Yeah. Done. And he's like, right. go, go ahead and put that one right in here. <laughs> <laughs> and so he says, can you put it in there? He's like, you know what? I'm sorry. I have to mean to ask. Yeah. You want to put this back in there. And I'm like. He's like, <laughs> can you put this back in here now? Period. Right. <laughs> Right, and, and to me, it, they're all they all mimic. I guess they mimic features of Negan, Negan. right? Yeah, you know, because they smile and yeah. oh, it's a beautiful painting. I love right. it. We'll be taking that. Yeah, exactly. As a matter of fact, you're gonna box it up for me. Right, mm-hmm. right now. Go, go, go ahead and put that in the car. Right. So I'm like, what happened? I thought it was cool. Right, right. Taking all my stuff. And like, your wife's coming with me, and she's bringing the painting <laughs> on that motorcycle <laughs> with your kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I thought that was a, a great scene. I would have, um, but again, I'm gonna just nitpick. Yep. We got 30 people in the house. Yeah, no one goes upstairs and checks all the closets. Nope. They're like, uh, leave his, leave the doc's room off limits. Right. I'm like, I don't think so. I think they would kick down everything. Not that he had a secret room. Yeah. So that's another thing. I feel like they just give you stuff and feed it down your throat, and you have to just take it. Right. And like, we're we're the Walking Dead, so that's what happened. Yeah, they, that's they, what, that's they didn't go in there and search. They, they, they didn't yeah, search, yeah. you know? Like, there, all right, go, some go search them. Go, yeah. go look under the beds and go look in that. And while you're there, take half of their shit, you know? Right, they should have been on a roof somewhere. Right. Not in a closet. Because in a when they went to Alexandra, that's exactly what they were doing. They were looking around and they were taking stuff, right? right. So And we don't get that here. I noticed that in AMC. You're slipping. Get your shit together. You're suspect. <laughs> all right. Um, so, so, I mean, the what about... That, they got away with that, and, you know, they, they they then said, like, for Jesus to hop in their truck. I think that that kind of was, like, a setup to actually, for Jesus to hop in the truck. Okay, it looks up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I didn't hear them say hop in the truck. I heard them say follow, um, which is what I was going to get to with um, Carl. Carl, yeah. So they showed us more of that Carl. I was waiting for that. I yeah. mentioned the last week. So this, my input from the comic books, is uh, Carl does go to Negan. He does go to Negan, 
And I won't break, I won't spoil what might happen next week, depending on who they decide to tell. Appreciate it. Yeah, but, um, you know, some shit's going to go down. And like I said, I'm hoping this is the season of Carl. Carl! Carl! Wait in the barn, Carl! Carl! It needs to be the season of someone, because Rick is really on this whole, they're the boss, and mm. just open up your mouth wide and let him thrust whatever he wants into your mouth. <laughs> yeah. And He's I'm really feeling that. Like, keep not, it vivid. I'm not, well, that's what it is. Suck he even said it. He was, <laughs> yeah. he was like, you just, you just thank me for putting my penis in your mouth. Big like, <laughs> like, that's what's happening. Right. So I didn't make it up. Yeah. And he didn't say, and Rick didn't. It's like, obvious, right? Oblige. I mean, it, it's completely obvious. Yeah. Uh, Rick, Rick seems like a broken man, and I don't see him, like, you know, recovering. Hopefully, Carl actually going out of his way and going to Negan is going to have Rick actually, like, be more motivated. You know, it's like, screw it, let's go, random up, Ezekiel, you know, Hilltop, let's go. I don't know, but I do think that the season is going to be more about Maggie and Sasha. Yeah. Um, I think they're going to be the person on that side to be the leader. We're going to also get the um, the Knights, though. Yeah. So... But I don't. I really don't see Carl being a leader. He doesn't have that screen presence. I know that you said in the comics that it's what he that he what he what he becomes. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't have. He needs to cut the hair. He's a he is a, a full <laughs> makeup. Get a real real eye patch. What's happening here? Like you gonna just wrap it up forever? Like I don't know. But well, he, he needs to change his persona if it's gonna I happen. I'm not going eye patch yet specifically because it's still parallel to the governor. Um, and this is more, uh, since Carl's technically a softer character. He's How about some sunglasses or something? It could do that too. Yeah. Do that too. He needs to change up a little bit if he's going to be the leader. Sunglasses. I feel like he's going to get there. Honestly, there's enough spirit in the kid. He's 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 the one that's been in this since, you know, he's a, he's a kid that grew up in this world. Yeah. Um, I know that I know Rick's going to snap. I already know that that's coming. Um, but I, I, I think this is a good kickoff to maybe up the season. And you have until the next episode, because if the next episode does this, I swear to God, AMC, stop it! <laughs> yeah, that's just the way it goes with AMC right now, man. Mm. Like, well, like well, I was saying. actually, I will say for this episode, they're really picking it up, and I really appreciate what they did with this episode. And they they brought back Maggie and Sasha, and you know, honestly, like I'm liking their character a lot more. I felt like. Man, these chicks, they need vengeance, you know, and they're the ones that, that are going to step it up and bring it. Maybe that's the way, the way to do the fourth I like episode. That. I mean, they always get that boiling pot theory going through. Yeah, and you just finally introduced us to the people with the, the best motives, and they have the right. best resources. So, I mean, let's use them the right way and get them going. Like, I just... Yeah, I want this... I want now, at least for the last two episodes, is it... We're on five or six? Uh, five. So, three five. more? Three more. Yeah. We need to get it going. Ooh. Give me a reason to watch next season. Yeah. Give me a reason to wait for six months before I get the next eight. <laughs> Please. I really need that. Right. But honestly, what I feel like is with every show, when the, I guess, the gates open, when it becomes not such a narrow narrative, things just start to fall apart. And I feel like this is what the, for me, this is what the show is doing. It's falling apart. Like, it used to be just like uh, zombies... And trying to survive. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. Zombies and surviving. Now we got all these other factions, all these other people, all yeah. these other uh, variables. And I don't think they know what to do with all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Because I think there's only like two producers. Like, no, you guys need like six producers. <laughs> and you got, and they all like focus on one thing and you all come together. Because I don't think they know how to, for me, they don't know how to feed, what, feed us what we need. When we're, yeah. watching, when we're waiting a whole week. Right. You need to give me something good, and then a reason to watch it next week. Right, yeah. It can't just be because of the character. For me, it can't be because yeah. of just the characters. Uh, I watch plenty of shows that do that for me. They, they get me drawn back in. Or, you know, they did that with Luke Cage, you know, and they're, like, drawing me back in, you know. And so it's right. like, there's no reason to, like, not do that. Give us, like, a great episode, you know. It's just like, don't you want your show to be great? It's been running for, like, seven seasons, you know. Right. Do you want to get canceled? It like, should just be getting progressively better, if that, you know? You got you got a bigger budget. These actors are getting a, lot, a little bit more older. They got a lot more experience in this world. So, it's like, come on. Step yeah. it up, guys. Um, so, that's pretty much the episode. Right? So, that's our discussion. We don't want to keep going on and on and on. It was just one episode. We got three more to go. So, hopefully we get some very good, meaty episodes for meaty. us. Right. Um, but we want to give you something. So, let us know what you think. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And also, 
We are doing a giveaway in December, so Woo-hoo. look out for that. We're going to give away a Rogue One figure. To you. So for all our 50, <laughs> our, our grand total of 50 subscribers, uh, or any just random viewer, you know, uh, we will let you guys know how to enter. All right, guys? Well, I'm DeAnthony. I'm Mr. Coach. And we are Break Room Blitz, baby. Tell Bunga, brother.